Sarah had been born with a gift, a gift for running. From the time she was young, she had an uncanny ability to move fast, to push herself further and harder than anyone else. It didn't matter what sport she tried, basketball, soccer, even swimming, she always shone brightest when she was moving at top speed. But it wasn't until she found track and field that she truly felt alive. The rush of wind in her hair, the pounding of her heart, the freedom of moving faster than anyone else, it was like nothing she had ever experienced before. From that moment on, running became her everything. She lived and breathed it, pouring every ounce of her being into becoming the best. Sarah had been training for this moment her whole life. Her body had endured countless hours of grueling workouts, her mind had focused on the finish line, and her heart had beat with the rhythm of each stride. As she lined up at the starting block for the most important race of her life, the anticipation was palpable. The gun went off, and Sarah exploded out of the blocks like a bullet, her legs pumping furiously beneath her. She surged forward, her body pushing past the limits of exhaustion, the crowd roaring in her ears. But then, in an instant, it all came crashing down. Sarah's foot hit the track wrong, and she felt a searing pain shoot up her leg. She stumbled, her momentum carrying her forward, and then she was tumbling to the ground, her body twisting in agony. Sarah felt like her world was collapsing when the doctor delivered the news, a torn ligament. Her mind raced with thoughts of all the hard work she had put in, the countless hours spent training, the sacrifices made by her family, and the support of her coach. How could it all be gone in an instant? She was devastated, her heart heavy with grief. The thought of going through surgery and months of physical therapy seemed impossible, and the uncertainty of ever running again was unbearable. Sarah's rehabilitation was a grueling and painful process, but she never lost sight of her goal. She spent countless hours in the gym, working with physical therapists and trainers to rebuild her strength and flexibility. There were days when the pain was so intense that she wanted to give up, but Sarah refused to let her injury defeat her. She pushed herself to the brink of exhaustion, determined to rise above the setback and achieve her dreams. Slowly but surely, she began to see progress, and each small victory fueled her determination even more. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest as she stepped up to the starting line. The crowd roared around her, but she was focused, her mind entirely on the task at hand. As the gun sounded, she exploded off the blocks, driving her legs forward with every ounce of strength she had. The wind rushed past her face as she picked up speed, her breathing steady and controlled. She flew down the track, her feet pounding the ground with a rhythm that felt like music. And as she crossed the finish line, she knew without a doubt that she had done it. She had risen above the injury, the doubt, and the pain, and she had won. She had earned her place in the Olympics, and nothing could stop her now. Sarah had been waiting for this moment her entire life. The Olympics were the culmination of years of hard work and determination. As she stood at the starting line, she could feel the weight of the world on her shoulders. But as soon as the gun went off, everything else melted away. She was in the zone, her body moving in perfect sync with the rhythm of the race. The crowd was a blur as she ran with everything she had, her muscles straining and her lungs gasping for air. But she refused to let the pain slow her down. She had a singular focus, a burning desire to cross that finish line and claim the gold medal that had eluded her for so long. Sarah felt a surge of adrenaline as she approached the finish line, her muscles burning and her lungs gasping for air. She could hear the pounding of her heart in her ears, but she refused to let the pain slow her down. And then, it happened. She burst through the tape, her arms raised high in triumph. Tears streamed down her face as the crowd erupted into cheers, and Sarah felt a sense of overwhelming joy wash over her. She had done it. She had won the gold medal. All those months of grueling physical therapy, the setbacks, and the doubt had led to this moment. Sarah had risen above her injury, defied the odds, and achieved her ultimate goal. Sarah stood on the podium, the gold medal around her neck and the national anthem playing in the background. She looked out at the sea of people in the stadium, feeling overwhelmed by the moment. This was what she had dreamed of for years, what she had worked for every day since her injury. As the ceremony ended and the crowds began to disperse, Sarah made her way back to the Olympic Village. She was exhausted, but also elated. She had accomplished something that few people ever do, and she knew that she would carry this moment with her for the rest of her life.
but as she lay in bed that night, reflecting on everything that had happened, Sarah couldn't help but think about what was next. She had achieved her ultimate goal, but what would she do now? Without a clear path forward, Sarah felt lost and unsure of what the future held. It wasn't until she returned home and began to train again that Sarah found her answer. She realized that her journey wasn't over, it was just beginning. There were new goals to set, new challenges to overcome, and new heights to reach. And so, Sarah continued to rise above, pushing herself to new levels of success in every race and competition. She knew that there would be setbacks along the way, but she also knew that she had the strength and determination to overcome them. Years later, when Sarah looked back on her journey to gold, she realized that it wasn't just about winning a medal. It was about the perseverance, resilience, and unwavering belief in herself that had carried her through the toughest times. And that, she knew, was something that would stay with her forever.